All right, good day. Today I'm going to show you, give you a, tu a tutorial on a program called Cut Studio. And this Cut Studio program is what we use with our rolling cutter in order to make one color stickers or vinyl stickers. So on our computer here, if you're the first time you're ever using the desktop in my room, the way we have to find this, computer, this program is we go down to our start menu and we come up to where it says Cut Studio and then usually click on this. And then finally it'll open up and this is actually the view that you will have opening up. Okay, so the first step we wanna make sure we do within this Cut Studio program is that we need to make sure that our computer and our rolling cutter machine are talking to one another. Excuse me, so in order to do that, we need to go up onto our file menu, come down to file, and then we'll come into cutting setup. This then will open up a cutting a cut setup window, and then we need to click on this button here called property. This is now opens up the control panel for our rolling cutter. So within our rolling cutter here, within our rolling cutter setup, we have some different options. So we can change our units to either millimeters or inches, whichever you're more comfortable with. So I'm gonna choose inches. And then to make sure that the machines are talking to each other, I will click this button that says get from machine. So notice the length, I have a roll in there. I have it set, my machine set to a roll. And then it changed my width to almost about 10 inches long in width. So then I will then click OK on this screen and then click OK on this screen. And now my uh, canvas looks like, sort of like my drawing canvas that would look like. All right, so once we get into the actual program here, I want to go over a little bit of these tools that are here on the side toolbar here. So first and most important tool that we'll use here where my mouse is, it's called the select tool. So with the select tool, you can then, you'll be able to select an image on the screen, move it around, make it bigger, make it smaller, what have you. And we'll show you that in just a second. Underneath is an edit tool. And I really can't do anything with that until I have an object. So we'll get back to that in a, a little bit as well. Next one down is our zoom in, zoom out tool. So zoom in, zoom out, you would just come in and you would just click Right click, you could zoom in. Left click, you zoom out. With the uh, with this program, the, the mouse on this computer also has a roller on it, so you can also zoom in with the roller on your mouse to make it a little bit simpler. All right, so our next tool down is our text tool with this letter A. So here's where I can do some demonstrations. So simply just take, click on the letter A. I can type. And then we can just type in any old word, technology, excuse me. So now from this point here, say you don't, I'll go back up to my select tool like I just clicked. And from here I can demonstrate how I can now select and move it around. Anytime you want to make a sticker in this program, uh, always want to put your objects down in the lower section of the white grid here, because this white grid is gonna represent the vinyl that is in our machine. So when, with that, make sure it's always toward the end and you're not doing it up in the center here because then there's a whole bunch of wasted vinyl that will be left over. So always click your objects and always put them down toward the bottom of the vinyl, of the virtual vinyl sheet. So we saw that I can move it around using my mouse and putting them on these adjustment handles. If I click and drag, I can make them bigger and smaller and crush them down. I can even flip them over if I want. If I want to keep the word at a, or a, any object in its original proportion, I would just hold the shift key on my keyboard. And this way here, you can make it bigger and smaller without it changing the proportion of the object. All right, so along with the text, if you're gonna do stickers with text, you can change this font if you don't like the font. So in order to do that, you just go up to, in your top toolbars here where it says format, click on font. And then with this control panel here, you can choose this drop down box and choose whatever font you would like. So just for instance, and there's different ways you can, you can change the text height this way 
You can figure out the different character spacing between each letter. You can determine the boldness and the height and the center line and line spacings. You can do all of that right in here. So once you have it where you want to be, and I'm pretty happy with what I've got here, so I'm just going to click OK. And now there is my word with the new font. Notice if you move in, that the text kind of looks like an outline. So any object that goes in here will eventually have to turn it into an outline, and then the machine will know to cut that out. So I've got that demonstration done, so I'm going to delete this here and continue with the rest of the toolbar. With it down from the text, you have your rectangle tool. So with that, you click on your rectangle tool. You can then draw a rectangle. If you want to, if you want to make a perfect square, hold your shift key in, and then you can make a perfect square. So I'm going to delete that. Same thing with a circle or ellipse tool that's right underneath it. Just click on that. You can draw an ellipse. Or if I hold in my shift key, I draw a circle. So get rid of those now. Underneath there, you have the polygon. Pretty much the same function. Draws a polygon. Stars. Polyline and then curve. So a polyline is something where you can simply create your own shape. So you click once, drag, click one again, click, click. You can literally click and create your own shape and it has, closes off right there. Okay. So that's the polyline. And then creating a curve, you simply just click, click one line, Click like you're drawing a straight line. And then the curve kind of works like this. And it can eventually come back to the original. So sort of got a crazy looking figure eight there. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, so the next part we're gonna get into is inserting certain type, inserting a picture or some type of logo to create a sticker from. What I've discovered is finding Images that are straight black and white look like a silhouette. They're straight black and white, no grayscale whatsoever. Just finds it a lot easier. And if you do find a logo that has some color, make sure there's no color contrast. So any type of logo would work that doesn't have a lot of color contrast when doing. Okay, so now we're going to insert an image into our Cut Studio program here. So in order to do that, there's two ways we can do this. We can click on import or we can click on file import. So I'll then just choose an image, fairly random. Try to pick something that's not too difficult. So I'm gonna choose this Marshall Star and I'll click open. Okay, so now my image shows up on the screen here. So now, once I have my image, I need to remember and know what surface I'm putting this on. So I need to know what size the sticker is going to be. So once I know that, I then need to know how to make what size to make it in here. So to know what size it is in this screen, down on the taskbar where my mouse is, down here, is where it says size. This is the size of the image that's going to be so far. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. So right around, that's a good size. So now what I need to do now is I need to make this image look like an outline, because right now it's real faint and kind of like see-through, so the cutting machine can't do that. Cut it this way. So on my, on my mouse, I'm gonna right click and click image outline. Within here, you can see the image. So depending on the type of image you get, you may have to make adjustments on this alignment image density slider. So you see, if you slide it this way, you can make the image darker, slide it this way, you can make it lighter. So just a little example, if I slide it this way a little bit, it starts to lighten up a little bit to the point where it's not even there. If I go too dark, you know, it's got a bunch of nastiness. Some images you use in here, you'll be able to see from here that it might that may determine whether it's a good file or not. 
Sometimes this program doesn't like certain files, so you may put an image in here that you want to do, and this part of the this part of the image will be like right down the center, and then this side here will be on the other side, like cut in half. If you find an image like that, the program just doesn't like the file, and you have to go in and find another file to use, find another image. So once you have this set the way you like it, you would then click on Extract Contour Lines. And I notice there's a blue outline around the shaded area of my image. So this point here, I would click OK. And now here is my image. There's the outline version of the image. And there's the old image. And I'm simply just going to take the image and put it off to the side. So now, I'm going to make sure that my, like we said before, we're going to make sure our image is down on the bottom end of our vinyl, of our virt virtual vinyl. And now we're ready to send it to the rolling cutter for cutting. So there's two ways we can do that. We can either quick click the cutting ribbon right here, or we can click on file cutting. This will then give us an image or a preview, excuse me, a preview of the image. Everything looks okay. You would then click okay. Okay, now we're gonna start this next process here, which is called weeding. So now our image has been cut out on the rolling cutter and my image is right here in this side of the uh, vinyl piece. So what I need for this next step is an X-Acto knife, transfer tape, and a little doodad here called a squeegee. And there's different type of squeegees. So we have two there that look kind of like credit cards. And then there's a, like one that's like a foam block it says U.S. Cutter on it. All right, so I'm going to start off using a cutting mat. Anytime you need a cutting mat in this class, we have green ones and these blue ones that sit up on this front table that I'm working on. So find my image here, and I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut off this excess of vinyl. And then that's a nice, decent sized piece of vinyl that I can still use for later for a project later on. All right, so now I want to do is I want to first step, try to cut, get rid of all this excess vinyl. So to do that, I'm just going to take my knife. I'm going to dig at this corner. And as I peel up, what was cut on the machine should stay in place. This is literally take two for me because I had troubles with the first one, so I decided to choose a different image that wouldn't be as much of a problem during this little demo. So that my circle came up a little bit, so, so we can sort of see that. Now I need to weed down inside so I can see the star. So I'll dig out with my knife, peel this piece up. Peel this up a little bit. All right. So there's my Marshall, sort of like the Marshall star. Little piece right there. All right, so now I'm gonna take transfer tape, set it on place. All right, so I got a little bit of excess right here so i'm going to take this part right here peel this up and i'll put the transfer tape down on the sticker itself take my squeegee and with the squeegee i'm going to run across the sticker to make sure there's no air bubbles then i take my knife and I cut the rest of the tape off. Put that roll back. And now my sticker is ready to be transferred. So simply to transfer it, once take my squeegee again, just to make sure it's nice and good. So I take this up. So then I would then peel the sticker and then the sticker would go to the transfer tape. 
and then I can put it on any surface that I want. You can put it on your wall, your backpack, maybe not your backpack, but a book. You can put them on your phones. You can even put them on a car if you like. So I'm going to put it right back in place. So that is sort of like the finished product of our sticker on our rolling cutter. So if you enjoyed this, thanks for joining us. And you'll be able to put any type of sticker you want on any of our projects here in the high school class. Thanks for joining me today.